live from the boom room. That's right, Mike Miller, Master Tech. Wait, he's out of his mind behind me. He's not even moving. It's me. This is ridiculous. These are the types of special effects that you don't pay for here. Don't mind. We're going to change a snare drum head here. We're going to take an HD dry off. We're going to put an Evans heavyweight on. This is how we're going to do it. What down? When you take the hoop off, always clean. Clean on the inside, clean on the outside, turn the drum upside down, get the wood shavings out, clean the inside of it, clean the bearing edge. Before we go any farther, clean the head itself. There's factory shiza on there, clean all that stuff off. Nice and clean, seated on the bearing edge, figure out where you want your badge, usually lining up with the badge there. Everyone does it a little differently. Actually, we're not going to do that one, we'll do it like that because the throw off is right there, so we'll make it in the center. Find a good spot to put the hoop back on. I put mine on the same way every time. So if there's a logo on here, for instance, I would put it down here to match the logo right there. Sometimes the hoop will have an imprint. I don't know why I do that, but it's just a way of keeping it consistent. Get our tension rods back in. back on we're gonna get every tension rod to the same starting point here just where you start getting some resistance get them all even and check the placement of the hoop on here we're gonna do that over here. final spot you want to hear where it's at along the way all right so that's the pitch for it right now now I'm gonna put some pressure on every tension rod pretty much as much as I can because this is we're at the point of stretching the head. We're going to put the head on and only tighten it down just to stretch it out. And once we stretch it out, then we're going to loosen everything up and then bring and then tune the head and bring it up to the desired pitch. Now, or it's going to detune pretty quickly when you start hitting it later. You don't want that to happen in a live show. So you're cranking that sucker all the way up. As tight as I can. Safely. So we're at Timbali tuning now. Here's the part that a lot of people miss. This is where I wish I had a towel to, to use to stand on. How about that bag right there? Is that sure. Use? Let's use this because we don't want to put a footprint on it, but pre-stretch is very important. I weigh 160 pounds, give or take. It's kind of an ideal weight. Tiny, I don't recommend you standing on this drone. I weigh exactly 100 pounds <laughs> more than you, Michael. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna walk around the outside edges here of this drum just like this. 160 pounds, you're not going to hurt the drum, you're not going to hurt the head. Maybe if you're using an ambassador or a super thin head, in that case I would do it like this. I wouldn't put my entire body weight on it, but I put a foot on it. I stand lightly, just like that. Rotate around, try and get deep in on the on the outer edges here. That's where you're going to find the stretch. Helps to seat the head. That's right, Glenn. Mike stepping on your crap every night before the show. Hell, he knows. <laughs> Detuning so it. Finger tight, finger loose again, and literally just start over and then bring it up to pitch. Fresh. All right, pre-stretch is done. I've now detuned the drum, so everything is now just at the point of where it's about to make resistance. Nothing's tight, but we're gonna bring it up to pitch. So again, that's where it's at. I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna get it like half turns. I'm gonna listen to the pitch. As I bring it up, so you have a reference point at right there, there. Bring it up evenly all the way around. Skip every other tension rod. Cause more even pressure on these triple, triple flange hoops. You can verify sort of where the tension is on each one. Besides listening to the pitch, I tend to do this more. After a while, your wrist becomes sort of like a torque wrench. You, 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 I can just almost don't you can feel it. Left. You can sense it. Really make our little fine tune adjustments.
adjust the wire noise to where you want it. We're in the studio, maybe you want it tighter for a live sound. Actually, the wire it is is... Nice. What do you think?